hello students in this video i am going to solve two examples which were asked by some of the students these two are the doubts what they asked the first example is find the remainder when 2 raised to 23 is divided by 47 okay now let us see how to solve solution You are given that the two ratio twenty three. Yes, we need to find the remainder or last digit of this number whenever it is divided by forty seven. What is the rule? We'll take possible uh, small number of power of two, which is divisible by forty seven. Okay. So we know that two to the power eight. Okay. Two to the power is what? It is two fifty. Six. Okay. So whenever two fifty six is divided by forty seven, what remainder will left? We'll check that. Okay. Let us see. When you divide two forty six, two fifty six by forty seven. Okay. Then what happens? Forty seven five zero. Check it. Now this we have to check by inspection method only. Okay. So it is. Two thirty five. So what is the remainder? Remainder is twenty one. Now you can write two raised to eight when it's divided by forty seven, or two fifty six is divided by forty seven. It is congruent to twenty one mod forty seven. Is the remainder left is twenty one. We want twenty three power as twenty three. Okay. Let us square on both side. Means two raised to eight. To the power two is congruent. So then, what is remainder? Remainder is twenty one. So twenty one raised to two more forty seven. So what happens now? Two raised to eight into two is two to the power sixteen. This is congruent to twenty one raised to two is four forty one. Okay, more forty seven. Now divide four forty one by forty seven. We we know four seven forty seven forty seven into ten is four seventy. Okay, then check it for its previous number forty seven into nine forty seven into nine gives you four twenty three. So it is remainder is eighteen. Now you can write it as Two to the power sixteen is congruent to in place of four forty one. You can write eighteen mod forty seven. Okay, we call this as equation one. Now we got power as sixteen, but we need twenty three. Okay, we have sixteen. Then how much left now? Twenty three minus sixteen means. It is. We need seven more. Okay. Then directly write two to the power seven. What is two to the power seven? Two to the power seven is one twenty eight. Now check when you divide one twenty eight by forty seven. What remainder left? So forty seven divided by one forty eight. One twenty eight. Forty seven two is ninety four. When you multiply with three, it will exceed one twenty eight. Okay, that's why I took two za. So remainder is thirty four. So you can write it is congruent to thirty four mod forty seven. Now call this as equation two. Yes. Therefore, what we want. We want two raised to twenty three. So two raised to sixteen into, or you can write. Therefore, from one and two, we have two raised to sixteen into two raised to seven is congruent to eighteen. Into thirty four 
mod 47. <coughs> then then 2 raised to 16 plus 7 is LHS is 23 is congruent to 18 into 34. 18 into 34 is 612 mod 47. Now again we have got 612. So divide 602 by 47. So when you divide this by 47, 47 ones are so 61 divided by minus 47 is 14. So it is 142. Then 3 is a we have got 141. So remainder is 1. Now this implies 2 raised to 23 is congruent to 1 mod 47. Okay. Therefore, what is the remainder now? The remainder is 1. Okay. This is how to solve this example. Okay. Asked uh, the, this doubt is asked by the, one of the sample is solved using formats little theorem. For your understanding, just I am going to write the formula, the formats little theorem. Already uh, there are videos on this concept. Just go through them. What is the formula? A raised to P minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod P. When you may ask when we are going to use formats little theorem. How you come to know? We have to use formats little theorem. Okay. If P is a prime number and A GCD of A and P is equal to 1. Okay. Then you can say we have to use formats little theorem. Okay. What is P? Here P is 17. What is A? A is 3. Okay. Now GCD of 3 and 17 is 1. In such case, we have to use formats little theorem. Understood? Now we'll solve. This example. Okay. In this example, so given 3 to the power 181 and should be divided by 17. Okay. Divided by 17. So what it implies here? What is A? A is 3. What is P? P is 17. Then by formats little theorem. What is that? Already we have written a raised to p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. Okay. Now what is our a? a is 3 p is 17 minus 1 congruent to 1 mod 17. P is 17. Now, 3 raised to 17 minus 1 is 3 raised to 16 congruent to 1 mod 17. But what we want? We want 3 raised to 1 81. Okay. So now for that, to get 181, we have to check what is the nearest number that we can multiply to 16 so that we will get 181. Okay. 16 into 10 is 160. Okay. 16 into 11. So 3 to the power 16 whole power 11 is congruent to 1 to the power 11 mod 17. So what happens? 3 to the power 16 into 11 is 3 to the power 176. Okay, is congruent to 1 to the power 11 is 1 only. 1 mod 
17. Now, to get 181, here we have 176. Okay. Then to get 181, we have 5. Therefore, we will check that. 3 raised to 5 is nothing but 243 is congruent to 1 mod 17. Now, we will divide 243 by 17. Check it. 17 ones are 17. Then 24 minus 17 as 7. Okay. That is 73. Then 17 fours are 68. So 68. 73 minus 68 is what? It is 5. We can write it as 3 raised to 5 is congruent to 5 mod 17. Therefore, 3 raised to 176 into 3 raised to 5 is congruent to 1 into 5 mod 17 or you can call this equation as 1 and this equation as 2 and you can write from 1 and 2 we get as yes, so this is 3 raised to 176 plus 5 is 181 is congruent to 5 mod 17 therefore Reminder is 5. This is how to solve the solve such a type of examples. I hope you understood now. Okay, keep practicing. If you have still any doubts, you can post. All the best. Take care. Thank you.